well, everyone you know has a sense of what morality requires. You know, that's as a human being, you know, you have or most human beings, psychopaths probably lack that, um, and that you can behave rightly or wrongly. And moral enhancement is is simply uh, increasing the chances that people will behave in the right way and reducing the chances that people will behave in the wrong way. So to take an extreme example, psychopathy. I mean, very few people think that it's it's okay to you know torture and murder innocent people, uh, eat their parts of their body, and so on. So trying to reduce that kind of behaviour would be a moral enhancement. Um, one one of the most basic ethical principles, again, which I think you know most people would agree on, is is a duty of easy rescue. So when the cost to you is minimal of performing some action, and the benefit to somebody else is very large. You should perform that action. So a moral enhance would be increasing people's willingness to make these small sacrifices for large benefit. At the moment, we only crudely understand what affects, say, love uh, or you know, moral judgment. So, you know, increasing oxytocin can increase pair bonding, but it can also increase derogation or maltreatment of our group members. So simply doing these very simple things like filling around with oxytocin or serotonin or vasopressin are unlikely to have the sorts of effects that we want. But they prove in principle that you can affect not just health, but uh, human behaviour and important human behaviours. Uh, so, you know, in the medium term, I think we'll be able to make much more fine grain changes uh, in our biology, our neurochemistry, to achieve the sorts of goals that we want. You need you need cognitive enhancement to, to be able to understand the nature of options, the consequences of actions, both long and term, to be able to compute probability. So cognitive enhancement is a part of moral enhancement. You also need empathy and sympathy. So you need to be able, in the right measure to be able to be moved by suffering in the right way. You need a, a minimal level of altruism. You need a whole set of dispositions. You need tolerance. You need uh, you need uh, commitment to equality. You need a range. And Aristotle had this doctrine of the mean that you know, he thought that there were the, the right, the sort of virtuous person was uh, in between um, different extremes. Uh, but what many people are looking at these sort of social and economic drivers for, for improvement, very few people are looking at the human animal itself uh, which, of course, is the basic root of the, you know, the policies that we produce, the sort of economics that, you know, that the economic situation that we're in. And I think until you understand that, the biggest progress is not going to be made or perhaps not as much progress as possible.